Hello, welcome to our Arbor Electro video. This video is a step-by-step -step guide of uh, the measurement with our Arbor Electro impedance tomograph. It will include the necessary preparations, the setup, the measurement itself, and the evaluation. Let's start with the preparations. To be able to measure with our Arbor Electro Impedance Tomograph, you will need the software of it, which can be found on our homepage. Please download the software. It is recommended to check if your device is well charged. And if you are going to use a caliper, please check it as well. It is also recommended to sterilize the electrodes of the Arbor Electro Impedance Tomograph if it is needed. After you have selected the tree and the layer in which you want to measure, you have to select the proper geometry of this layer. The software offers you circular, ellipse and irregular geometries. It is highly recommended to use irregular geometry all the time because impedance tomography is very sensitive to the geometry. In this case, you will have to measure the distances between the electrodes. You can speed up this process with using a Bluetooth caliper, which can send the measured distances automatically to this program. You also have to decide about the sensor count, which means that how many electrodes will you use during the measurement. It is recommended to use 32, the maximum amount of the electrodes. Let's see the measurement. Even if we measure an irregular shaped trunk, the measurement tape can help to keep the same height for all the electrodes. When placing the electrodes, it is important that they have to go through the bark. After all the electrodes are on the tree, the measurement tape must be removed. When all the electrodes, the needles, are on the tree, get the electrode connection cables. Start with the first electrode connection cable and connect the crocodile clips onto the electrodes. Start with one and go on one by one till eight. Use exactly one clip for one electrode. Do not skip any electrode or change the order. Use the second electrode connection cable with clips nine to 16 similarly. Use the third and fourth electrode connection cables if they are needed. When you connect the crocodile clips, onto the needles, onto the electrodes, please be sure that the clipses are on the needles, are on the electrodes and not under them. When all the crocodile clips are on the electrodes, please connect the other end of the electrode connection cable to the resistivity meter. Screws and the screwdriver are included in the Arbor Electro package. With them, you can fix the resistivity meter onto the tree. When you connect the electrode connection cables to the resistivity meter, follow the color marks. Connect the red-ended cable to the red labeled connector. And so on with the other colors. Now we show how to register an irregular geometry with the Bluetooth caliper. The tips of the caliper should be at the proper positions. The positions are given by the software. Pushing the yellow button on the caliper will send the distance data to the software. As the data arrives to the software, the software will tell you which distance to measure next with the caliper. Six and one, seven and one, eight, and one. 
When all the distances are measured, the geometry is shown in the software. Now we can go on to the measurement tab and start the measurement itself. At the beginning of the measurement, the software sets up the measurement parameters like the necessary voltage. It takes a little time. After it, two electrodes conduct current to the trunk while two other electrodes measure the voltage between them. These rolls change for the electrodes. This process can be followed on the screen of the software. When measuring with 32 electrodes, 256 position layouts are measured during a whole measurement. In this case, the measurement takes about 4 minutes. When the measurement is finished, we can go on to the evaluation tab. Here we can choose between low, medium and high resolution evaluations. This affects the number of these triangles. The resistance values are calculated for the triangles. The tomogram becomes more detailed if you choose higher resolution. If the number of the triangles increase, the evaluation takes longer. Let's start an evaluation. The evaluation consists five steps of iterations. The total progress and the current stage can be followed by these bars. We can observe the change as the progress goes on. At the end of the five steps, we get a resistivity map, an impedance tomogram of the measured layer. Here it is. And this resistivity map is appropriate for a horse chestnut tree without fine joy activity. Thank you for your attention.